Gracie, I'm a biologist. And so when I'm talking about selfies, I mean C E L L V S, taking photos of cell, not S E L F E S, which is taking photos of yourself. That selfies, I don't know much about. But you know what is a cell, yes? A cell is the basic unit of life. Yes, and based on the numbers of cells they have, organisms could be grouped into two groups. What are they? Um, one cell and many cells? Surprisingly, that's almost correct. <laughs> In biology, the simplest organisms with only one cell is described as being unicellular. Meanwhile, other living organisms with many cells are described as being multicellular. So, we humans are multicellular organisms and amoebas are unicellular organisms. Indeed, all cells have common structural features, but in IGCSE biology, we will limit our discussion to two types of cells, animal cells and plant cells. Hmm, tell me more about the general organization of the cell structure. Sure, this is an animal cell. All cells have a surface membrane, cytoplasm, and nucleus. These three features are the features that must be drawn in a cell diagram. The cell surface membrane is to be drawn as a single thin line. They are the outermost part of the cell. The cytoplasm is a jelly-like substance. Remember, we are not supposed to shade or color the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm will be drawn as a zone between the cell surface membrane and the nucleus with no color. For this diagram, I'm making it easier for you to see the cytoplasm and thus I've colored it. Third, the nucleus is shaped like a small circle and is located a little bit peripheral from the center of the cell. Remember, when you draw the nucleus, you cannot shade or color the nucleus. Together, the cytoplasm and the nucleus may be referred to as the protoplasm. Got it. And what about plant cells? Do they have the same features? Yes, they do. But keep in mind that for plant cells, they have three additional features. Some of these features are known as organelles. Organelles? Sounds like an organ? Correct. Organelles are tiny organs inside the cell. The first is a large central vacuole and the second are the chloroplasts. Besides those two organelles, plant cells also have cell walls. Okay, so a plant cell also has cell membrane, cytoplasm, and nucleus. And it additionally has chloroplast, vacuole, and cell wall. That's right. Teacher, let's spot their presence in a plant cell diagram. Sure.